Hi, Scott Erickson, Technical Marketing Engineer for Pulse Secure. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the new App Config feature for Pulse Workspace. App Config is a feature that allows admins to predefine specific app settings for end users, like server URLs. This enables users to provision enterprise specific apps with minimal effort. The settings are then pushed to the device when the user downloads the application in question through the Enterprise App Store. We have also published a video digging deeper into the Enterprise App Store, so please watch that video for more details there. First thing to note is that any app that will be configured with App Config first requires integration from the app developer on their side. Most of the popular enterprise apps have taken steps on their side to do this integration. The App Configure framework is defined by Apple and Google on their respective platforms. Once the application developer makes their app configurable via App Config, PWS is then able to push the specific settings for that app. Currently, there is one key difference between Apple and Google. For the time being, PWS requires you to upload an XML file which defines the app config settings for all iOS apps. We have published on GitHub the list of apps in their configuration files. Shown here. Once you find the app you're looking for, click in and copy the data. Take that to an XML editor and save the file. Now, when defining an application, come into the app catalog, search for the application. Here we're looking for iOS version of Jabber. We don't yet have it, so add from App Store. Select Jabber. And here we can see the application settings, whether it's mandatory, whether it uses the Pratt VPN, and then the config file upload. I'm going to upload the Jabber file, and then move on to the settings. Here we can see the app configure settings, and this is where the admin would configure, the, configure any needed settings that they want to push for the end user, such as domain. certificate URL, and then some other settings that go along with the application itself. Once the application is added to the App Store with the configuration settings, you can then push it to a device via a policy. If we look at a Google version, You'll see the key difference again is simply that you do not now you do not require the XML file. This takes you directly into the configuration settings, shows you the available macros to use, and you're able to define those settings for the end user before pushing them to the device. And that's it. That's all for App Configure for today. Thank you for listening, and please reach out to pulsesecure.net for more information.